again, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of uh, the Daily December 2019. This is day 27. Uh, still behind because I can't keep to any sort of schedule. Uh, so today, uh, first things first. <laughs> If you didn't watch my last video f for whatever reason, ch check it out. If for n n n no other reason, then you guys get to watch and listen as my voice goes like a half an octave. Um, but the, the, the last video, I woke up and g g got out of bed like, I don't know, maybe t t 20 minutes before I recorded it. It was the first thing I d d did in the morning. And I m mentioned b b before... My voice can be uh, up to about an uh, octave lower when I f first wake up. And so uh, the last video, I, I realized that as, as soon as I started to talking and I just kind of went with it to see if it would uh, actually ch change during the video. And t t towards the end, you start hearing it b b b pick up a little bit. I f find it fascinating. Uh, and, anyways, so t today, uh, what I want to do... Uh, is something um, I've uh, asked people uh, 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 t t to um, suggest for me for uh, uh, in-depth D&D D &D 5e guides, which is there is a lot of uh, homebrew material for 5th edition out there. Uh, and uh, I'd, I'd be, uh, I still want people to s suggest uh, stuff that they find on the DMs Guild or D&D D &D &D Beyond that they would like uh, 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 an assessment of as far as the balance issues, uh, uh, other stuff like that, and how it kind of fits into the mechanics of fight. Thus far, no one has m m made any uh, uh, recommendations, which is why this is a d d d daily December and not an in-depth d d d and d 5e gu 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 guide. Because um, I want to try this. I want to see how, uh, 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 just if, if, if it's something that's interesting, if it's something that you guys enjoy. And again, that's what d d d daily December is about, trying new things. So... Uh, I was on D&D D D D D Beyond just looking through random stuff because it is a c c cool website. Um, uh, just FYI, not s sponsored by them at all, all or Wizards of the c c Coast. Uh, I just like them. However, uh, uh, Curse or Wizards of the Coast, anybody, if you want to s s sponsor a video uh, on this channel, I already like your products. And I have a degree in m m marketing. Uh, so, so, so use that uh, however uh, you would like. But I would be a very good sponsor if you're looking for, for someone with a grand total of t 294 s subscribers. But, but, but beyond that, it would be a, a very effective sponsored v v video for whatever audience I c could get anyway. Uh, so I just went through. I found the first name of a subclass that could, could, could caught my eye and went hmm let's ch check this out so i picked the uh, B -B abyss walker uh which is made by D -D -D damascus steel is the username it's been viewed about uh 7200 times um it's been added almost for five hundred times uh and i don't know what the rating is but it's got 37 points as as pluses and uh or uh it has 53 pluses 16 minuses and the three comments um so theoretically this is one of the better reviewed uh subclasses on here so it should be decent um and it's, it starts with a which means i literally just went and found the absolute f first one i didn't look at the rating or anything i just like the word ab -ab abyss walker uh, or t two words actually i like a -ab -ab abyss walker uh, it uh, harkens back to the dark souls which i love because our was known as the ab -ab -ab abyss walker it's just a cuckoo cool name 
So I p p picked it out. I've, I've read th through it all already. Um, who to me, this is g g kind of what d d d defines most homebrew I see. If you've ever gone to the d d d d wiki, this is the g g kind of stuff you will find. Um, which t t to me is unbalanced, uh, uh, p p poorly worded, and a p p power f fantasy. Uh, they want to be an u uber p p powerful c c c character. Um, that can just walk over everything else. And that's generally what I did, 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 did tend to see when I see stuff. When I find really good b -b -b balanced stuff, um, I enjoy it. I enjoy reading it and that. Um, but that takes a lot of work. Um, and uh, generally what I'll see, and you, you, you'll see this in the, 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 this one as well, um, you, you, you'll uh, you'll see they'll they'll take d d different pieces of d d d different classes and just d d d d uh, classes or subclasses and just d d jam them together so they d d don't have to m multi class um, or they'll take features from different subclasses of this same class and d d jam them together so they can create a character that is impossible to make generally for good 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 reason. Um, and m m most of the ab abilities that they will add are really useful to the point. Now, again, my idea of g g good uh, c character d d design is anytime they, they, they add a new uh, option, a, a new way for you to d do something in your c c character, uh, either a new, new way to use your a action, new way to use your b b bonus action, your weapon, um, that ab ab ability sh should give you ch 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 choice. There should be some advantages and drawbacks so that there's a reason to use it and there's a reason and a not to use it. Um, when all it does is make the, the, the other things just uh, obsolete, uh, then uh, uh, it, it, it becomes overpowered and uh, is not good, good, good character design. Uh, so let's go, 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 go over this class. Um, it has, uh, uh, actually a, a pretty d -d 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 decent, uh, description, uh, at the beginning where it gives some lore, uh, uh, about it. Um, ha, 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 however, uh, the majority of what I see on here is just talking about how everyone thinks of abyss walkers are super cool. Uh, and everybody uh, uh, either uh, likes them and wants to be their friend or t terrified of them because they're just so b -b 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 powerful. Um, which kind of sets the mood for the entire uh, uh, th th thing. Um, so let's start out. at third level when you choose. Oh, this is a fighter subclass, b -b -b by the way. Uh, so when you c c consider this, you could consider also it has all the f standard fighter abilities. It's the second wind. Uh, uh, um, uh, all, all that kind of d d d d define, uh, uh, action surge, is, is that what it's called? Um, uh, all, all those things that kind of d d define fighters, the fighting styles, all, all, all of that is kind of uh, uh, put into d d this. Um, now, the f first thing that gives me a little bit of, of um, worry, I, I guess, is almost every level where the, 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 they get something, uh, they get t t two things at every level, uh, or, or almost every level. I think there's like one. Yeah, j j just level 18 is the only one where they only get one in a new ability uh, out of level up. Every other time they get t two, and they're both pretty d d decently powerful. Um, for a s subclass... Um, generally you only want to give one new ability for a level up uh, if you are going to do t two they should be e either linked in some way or uh the, 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 they should be uh maybe like a b b b battle aspect versus a a role play playing aspect but even th th then um, most classes have at least one level where all they get is is a role playing or a exploration uh, upgrade um it's relatively rare to find a class that every sing or at least of the published stuff 
uh, it's impossible to find a class where every single level level up uh, always gives you b b better c c combat s skills. Um, so that's a first thing that I would say. You know what? M maybe uh, instead of having t two things for every level, which b b both of them give you a, a, a an advantage in combat, either t take one a a out or t change one of them to where it o only gives you role playing. Uh, 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 in, in, in improvements and, and doesn't actually affect combat at all. Uh, so the first thing they get at third level is called uh, Hunter's B -B -B Bestiary. Um, uh, it's a b -b book, kind of like a spell book. You get it uh, uh, there. Um, and it's uh, basically, after a b -b battle, you can inspect a creature and take notes in your Hunter's B -B Bestiary of its d -d different a attributes. You make a Wisdom Survival check equal to... Uh, with a D -D DC equal to eight plus half the ch challenge level of the creature. First issue, there isn't a ch ch challenge level in f fifth edition. There's a challenge rating, CR. When you're p -p -p publishing the materials, especially for a, b -b 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 uh, a, a game like D&D, -D -D -D, your word choice um, matters. And I'll go, go, go into um, uh, kind of a huge f f flaw with this in a little bit as to why word choice matters so much. This is simply just a, 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 a flub. Uh, he, he or she, um, or the, the they, whatever their chosen pronoun is, um, they may just call it challenge level um, when in actuality it's challenge rating. But when you sit here and go uh, uh, put an official rule that says challenge level, it will c confuse uh, your people. So that's uh, annoying at first. Um, on a success, you learn the, the name of the creature and any th three attributes ab 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 about it. Here's a, another thing. What is an attribute? In 5th uh, edition, attributes, the, the only time they use that um, is uh, s s specifically... Um, I'm actually not, not sure. I'd have to... Uh, I don't have any of my b b books here. C curses! Uh... I s s s s swear to you, I'm I'm a b b better b b prepared f f for this. Yes, yeah, it's not even uh, attributes. There are b b ability scores. In uh, b b b previous ed editions, they uh, sometimes are referred to as attributes scores. Um, but the word uh, attribute isn't d d d d d defined. Even the, 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 this, it says you learned the three attributes on it. On a failure, you learn the, the name of the creature. Uh, and uh, if you encounter the same creature again and attempt to gather new information about it, you, you make the check with an advantage. But, but basically, uh, they don't d d define what attributes is. Attributes c c could be their ability scores, could be... Uh, other uh, weaknesses and resistances. It could be literally anything. It could be, uh, uh, you know, uh, how t tall the c c creature was, how many t t t toes it has, whether it t tastes good with, you know, soy sauce. You know, uh, it, it, it doesn't actually uh, uh, say anything. And that's a really d d d dangerous thing f for uh, a class, uh, simply because if this, if this c c class were to become... Uh, official or even just was used at different t -t tables um it vastly ch changes how you b -b -b play the, the the class if they're thinking that they can b -b basically get them a monster stat block by using this uh, hunter b -b 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 uh and uh, uh one dungeon matter lets him do that and then another one uh says no you 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 don't you 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 just get um you know, you, you get that they're normally yellow in good, good color or something. Like, that's going to ch change because the, the knowing the monster's stat block is a b b big advantage in, uh, uh, in combat uh, and in tracking. You'll know what they can do. You'll know uh, how to avoid it. You'll know the DCs for, for, for everything, what uh, uh, roles you, you have to make. Like, you can really pre pre prepare if you know this is a stat block. Um, so in the, the, that part... Uh, this is a b b poorly written thing. If they had d d defined attributes, it'd be a little bit better. Um, however, 
you will learn these things without having to write them in a book. Um, so this is another thing that's kind of strange. Um, this is simply because uh, learning the name of the creature is not a difficult thing that doesn't require a survival check. Generally, you can just ask. Um, uh, and if your d d DM won't tell you because your c c character would know it, then you can ask t townsfolk what they could call it. That's not a b b big deal. And again, the, the, the attributes, generally you're going to learn them by being a t t attacked b b b b by them. Um, this r r really feels like a m m monster hunter th 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 thing where... Uh, this is really kind of uh, uh, made if, if you are going to be playing like a, a monster hunter campaign. We have to go out and kill the same kind of monster, uh, uh, harvest its parts to get into it. Like this is literally the uh, hunter's notes from Monster Hunter World, which doesn't really f fit with the D&D. D &D. Like you can m make a campaign like that, but that's not really what D&D D &D was d d described for. So that specific aspect, I would say... As far as uh, overpoweredness, isn't that b b big? Um, but as far as uh, how well written it was, it's p p poorly written. It doesn't define what a attributes are, and most of the information you get just isn't that useful. Um, at third level, you also get weapon b b b b bond, um, which is the, the the thing that you get for being an uh, eldritch knight. So they literally just stole it from eldritch knight. However. Uh, this weapon bond is m more powerful than an Eldritch Knight's weapon b b b bond. Um, you can't be d d disarmed with that weapon unless you're incapacitated, which I b b believe m might be. Uh, I'd have to look it up again. I d d don't have my p p PHB in front of me. I believe that's part of the weapon b b b bond. Um, however, if it is on the same plane of existence, you can summon that weapon as a b -b bonus action in your turn, c causing it to teleport I instantly t to your hand. That you c can't do at level 3 of that uh, Eldritch Knight. I think they get an imp improved sword bond much later that allows you to c call it from farther away. Um, I'm, I'm, I may be wrong. Again, I haven't read the c c class in a while. I don't believe they have literally a anywhere on the b b plane, same b plane of existence. You can just d d teleport it to you. Um, that's super bad. The other th thing about it, you can have up to t t two b b b bonded weapons. Eldritch Knight only allows you to have w w one. Uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, the, again, this is a very c common thing I see in homebrew by people that, that don't really n n know what they're d d doing. Um, is uh, they just take features from other subclasses, but they uh, they'll just jam them together, or they'll add extra things to go. But but I wanted to do it th this way, and they won't let me do 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 it this way. Generally, there's a g g good reason f f for that. The ability to do 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 dual wield weapons that you can never lose doesn't sound like that but big a deal until you start dealing with the, the, the thrown weapons. <coughs> that at level three will just instantly t t t teleport b b b back to you and once you start getting m m magic weapons and stuff and and like you you literally can never d d d disarm this character ever um the one thing this d d d d doesn't have is i believe the weapon b b b bond uh has an ability to rep repair the weapon and they d d didn't add that so that's something uh t to me this is uh, overpowered because at level three it is Really, it's it's b b better than what the Eldritch N N Knight gets, which is b b built around that v v v feature, that weapon bond feature, um, and gives th this class abilities that the uh, Eldritch Knight won't get until m m many lay, uh, uh, levels later, um, and it's a c completely separate class. It's not b b built around it. This is just extra stuff to make the c c class c c cool. Um, seventh level again gets two abilities. First, you get ha ha heightened. Uh, fortitude. Uh, you can add ha half your pr proficiency bonus, round it up to any strength, d d dexterity, or wisdom check you make that d d doesn't already use your pr pr proficiency b b bonus. Uh, s strength checks, there's one. They're athletic ch 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 checks. Um, dexterity, there's qu quite a few. Um, uh, 
quite a few t -t tools used to the dexterity. You have a acrobatics, s -s stealth, uh, so that's big. Wisdom has a lot of things. Uh, survival is w w wisdom. Insight is wisdom. Like that's a lot. Um, so that al al already is b pretty powerful um, outside of c c combat ability, uh, which uh, again is nice that you you're getting something out out outside of good combat. Um, however, that's this is not the end of the, the, the thing. You gain b b proficiency in wisdom saving throws and advantage on saving throws against ch charm effects. Okay, so th that's a d d direct combat uh, the, the thing. And uh, uh, you are souping up a, a, a character pretty hard. Um, again, g g giving them abilities f from other... Th these are actually racial abilities of elves that they're just d d d tossing in to make them even more, more powerful. Um, and then, d doesn't even end then, as well as the ability to d d decrease the amount of psychic d d damage an attack deals to you by a number e equal to half your fighter level rounded down once per round. Um, so that creates more issues. First of all, you you now b b b basically have a, a, a way to resist psychic damage, which in general is one of the harder uh, d d damage types t to resist. There's m m magic weapons that will give you s stuff, but in g general, psychic damage is p p pretty good. Good. It ranks right up there with a force damage of things that you just g generally can't resist. Um, so uh, you you get it. Uh, half your fighter level rounded down once per round, which is a bit big deal because if they had said once per t t t turn, that would mean every t turn. Uh, every character's turn, you could r reduce psychic damage. If you're fighting m m mind flayers or something, that's super overpowered. The other thing is it doesn't say how you do this. It just says you can do, 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 do it. So it doesn't you, you use your reaction. There's there's no limiting of ability other than you can only use it once per round. Um, again, and this is all one feature. You, you, you get... Um, uh, p p uh, half your p p p proficiency bonus to uh, three different b b b b ability s scores. Um, you get proficiency in wisdom saving throws uh, and advantage against ch charm effects and ha have an ability to reduce the psychic damage all in one b b ability. That's level seven. Uh, t t to compare it, um, um, monks get advantage or not advantage they get p p proficiency in all saving throws at level f f 15 and that's the entire level all they get is p p proficiency in all saving th 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 throws um, oh and I think that I, I believe that's where they can uh, re-roll uh, a saving throw by using a giga key point that's it is they can they get p p proficiency and can re-roll it once this, like this is massive and again this is only a half of what you get at level s s seven you've already t turned him into a pretty b b bulky character that outside of combat can do just about uh, anything f f physically whether it's acrobatics sneaking around s s sleight of hand uh, uh, athletics like you're just gonna be really b b b b powerful um and the second thing it's seventh level Grim uh, understanding. Uh, you basically understand e evil creatures really well, and because of that, you learn of a Abyssal and s s Sylvan, uh, which is a weird thing to, to, to add. Uh, there, there, there's only un one other class that gets something like that, which is the Ranger, and they learn a, a language uh, used by their favorite enemy or related to their v v v favorite enemy. Um, yeah, this just g gives you a bit of and Sylvan. And now uh, you also get an advantage in all wisdoms, survival, and intelligence and in investigation checks when tracking any d d demon, f f fake creatures, and aberrations as well as advantage in all intelligent nature checks uh, when attempting to g g gather information on these c c creatures. 
Um, yeah, that is b b b basically t taking a combination of the the the, the uh, uh, ranger uh, uh, um, uh, 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 abilities and uh, some of like the b b blood hunter b b abilities from m m Matt Mercer's c c custom c c class. Where it basically makes you really good at t t tracking certain kinds of goo 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 creatures. But it's such a wide uh, thing. Like all demons, all f f fake creatures, and all a a aberrations. Um, which is interesting, uh, they, they, they didn't put fiends in there. Because generally d d demons and fiends are kind of put in the same way. With uh, what I've seen thus f f far, I'm c kind of thinking... Uh, this person kind of thought that de 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 demons and fiends are technically this is the same creatures, which they're n n n not. Uh, and they come from completely different places. Uh, but everything uh, else in here that's make makes me uh, think that. Um, and again, this is c combined with that heightened fortitude. Um, level seven is a really big uh, uh, level. And again, this is a level seven c c character. That already uh, knows t two extra language has uh, uh, extra stuff that they can add to a b b b bunch of different j j j j checks. Um, I mean, but bards and uh, 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 but bards get the, the, the ability to add half their pr proficiency bonus uh, t t t to t t checks, uh, but I believe they get that later. And again, they're b b b bards. They're b b built around the, 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 that idea. Uh, this is a f fighter that also is b b becoming uh, a jack of all tr trades, master of them all. all. And this is only level s seven. Uh, let's go to level ten again. T t two things. Uh, the first one, you can choose a section uh, option from the fighting style c c class feature, um, which is another thing that doesn't happen in a any other c c class. Uh, there are, uh, they do say, uh, you might be able to take this multiple t times if you get, if you multi class. And that's the only way you can get multiple f f fighting styles right now is multi classing, maybe p p paladin and f f fighters, a, a, a common one. This, you just g g get it because you're s s super awesome. Um, and, and uh, g generally, uh, d d depending on the weapon you use, uh, D defense is a really, really g g g common uh, fighting style to just to, to take because all it does is if you're wearing armor, which you will be, you get a plus one bonus to AC. If you use a sword and shield or just a, a s single sword, dueling is massively g g g good. Um, you get a plus two uh, b b bonus to damage rolls um, when you're wielding only one weapon. Um, it does work with a sh sh if you're holding a sh sh shield, um, because a sh sh shield isn't a weapon; it's a b b b piece of ar ar armor. Um, and they actually have, uh, 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 you know, in Sage Advice, uh, they have said specifically the dueling style is d d designed to work with a sh sh shield if you want it. Um, so really, if you're b b playing this uh, uh, character as uh, kind of a sword and board, uh, defense and d d dueling are two really good things to, 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 to go to other um great weapon fighting and d -d 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 defense two weapon fighting and d -d -d defense uh, especially if you t -t take the, the 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 um uh dual wielder feet uh you'll get a d -d defense will give you a b -b bonus to ac uh d -d dual wielder will give you a b -b -b bonus to ac like it's having an additional fighter is not a uh, fighting style is not b -b -b broken b -b -b per se but it's a, a pretty big advantage that would be good enough for uh, a, a level up like just getting in another fighting style that c could end your level up not with the, 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 this class you also get t t touched by d -d 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 darkness when you're in d -d dim light or d -d darkness you gain resistance to necrotic damage and a c creature that deals n -n -n necrotic damage takes double amount of necrotic as you do you also gain 30 feet of d -d 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 dark vision. So that's a lot in just, that's one, uh, that's two sentences. It's not the whole of the ability, by, 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 by the way. Uh, so first of all, resistance to n -n necrotic damage. Resistance to a d -d -d damage type is a really n -n -n nice thing to add 
t to a uh, class feature just to give it a little more b b bulk. Like I'd be p p perfectly fine with with um, uh, adding a fighting style b b plus a resistance to one d d d d damage type. Because um, that again, uh, if 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 you choose like a a, a, a great weapon fighting, um, all, all it d d does is that you reroll uh, ones. Uh, or t twos when you make d d d damage rolls uh, with a g g g great weapon. Uh, it's not all th that great, so adding a re resistance would be good. This, however, n not only do you get a resistance, but the creature that it attacks you that does the ne necrotic damage gets double that damage b b b b b back for no ex explicable reason. Um... I mean, the, the, the opening line of this is at the 10th level, the, the, the darkness of the abyss seems to seep into your skin and you learn how to weave it in your favor and use it as a weapon t towards those who sh strike you. So it kind of says, well, yeah, you're, you're, you're so, you're so like d -d -d dark that whenever people uh, uh, hit you, like how d -d dark you are makes them hurt. Like you're super d -d -d dark. Um, you also get d -d 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 dark vision. Which is super useful. However, um, most classes that add the, the dark vision in some way um, generally won't just add the thirty feet of the, 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 the dark vision. Um, uh, it, it it might be thirty feet of the, the dark vision, or if you have dark vision, it extends it by thirty feet, or they'll do like sixty or a hundred feet. Uh, because 30 feet is not the, the, that b, 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 big. Generally, 60 feet is what you see. So that's just kind of a weird th 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 thing, uh, but still v v very useful. The, the, the dark vision in general is just useful. Um, and here's the, 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 the other ha half. Uh, all creatures have the, the disadvantage on attacks against you while you are in the, the, the darkness if they rely on the, the, the dark vision to, the, the, to see you. You also g g gain the ability to pull from the shadows around you as a b b bonus action to become invisible for up to 30 minutes. This can be done twice per sh short rest. Oh my g g g god. Um, okay, the, the disadvantage on attacks against you while you were in d d d darkness, if they rely on d d d d d dark vision to see you, is a little bit wordy because if you're in d d d darkness... They kind of have to rely on dark vision or like tremor sensors or something else. So I guess I can understand why they put that the thing in there. But it's really, really specific. Um, whatever. So, so that that's a little over powered for the 10th level. But sure, whatever. Um, the ability to become invisible for the 30 minutes massively overpowered at 10th level um i don't believe you even have access to greater invisibility or if you do 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 um it's uh i can't even type look up the uh spell itself because i have to see how long it lasts yeah Lasts for one minute. This lasts for the th thirty minutes, and it doesn't end. <clears throat> like you can attack while invisible. You can, you know, uh, use spells while invisible. Like you literally can do anything you want, and <clears throat> you can do it twice per short rest, and you get all of them b b back on a sh short rest. This is a b b broken ability. There's literally no other b b ability into D D, whether it's spell whatever that gives you the ability to, to be invisible for 30 minutes and then the nothing you do ends that into the invisibility um and it only co costs a b b b bonus action um so you can literally c c cloak yourself get advantage on all, all your attacks uh have all attacks that against you have the disadvantage because no, no, no one can z z z see you um and just uh, keep doing it for th 30 minutes, which can be th two or three different c c combats easily. Um, yeah, like that uh, ability is t totally o overpowered. Um, it literally d d does not make sense to use your b b bonus action for anything else 
other than to, to, to turning invisible. And because you get to do it twice per sh sh short rest, um, to be b b blunt, it's relatively rare that you can go through t t two or three c combats without having the ability to do a sh sh short rest. Long rest, the difference is a story. But sh sh short rest, yeah, you, 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 the, the, you this basically is then never going to be on cooldown. Um, and again, all of this is the 10th level. Uh, extra f fighting style, resistance to necrotic damage. You deal the damage to creatures d -d doing the necrotic damage. You get the dark vision. Uh, creatures at the disadvantage on its attacks against you. And you can turn invisible all at level d -d 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 10. Uh, and again, this this is a p -p power for fantasy kick to type character. If I was to allow this at my t -t table, no one else in the p -p party would ever have to p -p -p pick up their weapons. Because this guy could literally just d -d destroy a a everything by level t -t -t 10. He could fight a d -d -d dragon on his own, almost. Um, let's go to f -f -f 15. S starting at f -f 15th level, you understand the an anatomy of your prey. Uh, your uh, understanding of the an anatomy of your prey goes to n new fights. Your enemies now fall faster before you. Your weapon attacks score a critical hit on a roll of 17 to 20. All attacks you make against demons, fey creatures, and aberrations are also added with advantage. Dear g -g -g God. Uh, but permanent advantage is overpowered. There's not a single c -c class ability that gives you a permanent advantage over a any g -g -g creature type. Um, advantage itself has m m massive uh, impacts uh, on the game. It's one of the d -d defining features of 5e. Mechanically, it's like adding uh, roughly a plus 3.5 uh, to any uh, uh, attack, ability check, whatever. Now, um, it also uh, uh, improves your odds of rolling a crit. Um, the likelihood of rolling a crit on one die uh, is 5%, 1 in 20. When you roll the die t twice, the possibility of either one of them uh, b -b 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 being uh, 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 a, uh, a c -c crit uh, rises to about uh, 10%. I think. I'm actually not sure. I'd have to do, do, do the math. But it gets higher every time you roll more, 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 more dice. This expands the crits down to 17. So now it's 17, 18, 19, and 20. Um, you get uh, 4 out of 20, or b -b 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 basically 1 out of every f 5 rolls you will c c c crit on. Um, uh, you, you now also have an advantage on uh, a b -b -b bunch of different c c types of uh, c c creatures. In c c increasing that, you're going to be c c critting c c constantly. Now, the, the 17 to 20 c c crit range is a fighter ability from the ch champion. They get it at level 18. So they literally have t t taken an ability from the uh, 18th level ch champion fighter, given it uh, to the 15th level of B -B -B water Watcher, and given them a a extra stuff. Because again, this is only half of level B -B -B 15. Um, and again, every s single th thing they've had here has had uh, c combat of effects. Uh, there's been a couple uh, role-playing things, but all of them, in addition to role-playing, had c c combat of effects, which is, again, the sign of someone that's just creating a p -p -p power of a fantasy. Um, second half of level of 15. Uh, you gain 15 feet of a blind sight. There's no, no, no abilities that give you b -b -b blind sight in 5th edition D&D. D um, they've got some that let you see in m m magical darkness, but, but, but blind sight is something that's reserved for uh, uh, enemies in, in general. I b -b believe there's a couple m m magic items that will give you b -b blind sight or d -d -d tremor sense, which is very similar. This, you just, at level 15, you have 15 feet of b -b -b blind sight. And attacks against you d -d -d don't have advantage if you are b -b 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 blinded. 
So you have a blind sight and you're a m m m immune to b b b b blinded. Um, <clears throat> or or uh, uh, people c c can't uh, um, get advantage on you if you're b b b b blinded. Okay, f f fine. Uh, again, in addition to everything else they get, they also get b b blind sight. W whatever. Uh, in the event you are b b b blinded, you can use your b b bonus action to make a p p perception check to, d to detect all creatures within th the 30 f feet of you. You're unable to, to know who is friendly and who, who, who is hostile, and you'll have to use your b -b bonus action again to detect creatures around you if they m -b move and aren't in range of your b -b 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 blind sight. This is where wording uh, uh, b -b becomes uh, 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 an issue. Uh, f -f first of all, um, yeah, you can s still see anyone uh, within th th 30 feet of you, you just can't tell if they're good, 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 good guys or bad guys, which makes no, 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 no sense. Um, I myself have done some limited blind fighting training. Um, it is a real thing. As much as people s say it's all m m magic, no, it's a real thing. There are b b blind martial artists that are very, very g g good and uh, uh, can spar and everything like that. You c can learn uh, to uh, get rough estimations of where b -b opponents are without b -b being able to s see them um and it's not an ex it's not a, a, an exorbitantly uh, in, uh d -d -d difficult uh thing to learn it takes a, a lot of time it takes a lot of p practice and you do need a g -g 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 good t -t -t teacher um i never g -g -g got g -g good with it um and now that my b -b brain's all scrambled um i can't d -d do it at all because i can't even sense where sounds are good, good coming from most of the time any, any, anymore, uh, which is an essential part of blind fighting. Um, so um, blind sight is, is not a, 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 a magical a, a, a thing by any sense. It's, it's a trained ability. However, the, the, the idea that somehow your blind sight can't tell friend from foe is bonkers. Uh, f first of all, uh, all, if you're in combat, you d generally know where your allies are. Second of all, you can simply go, Mark, go, and they say P -P Polo, and you know exactly who's a f friend or foe. Like, it's the s simplest thing in, in, in the world to do to find out if that's an enemy uh, or f f f friend. So that little thing on there is, is meant t to uh, make it not as powerful, and it do doesn't mean a absolutely a anything. Um, now, uh, when I talk about w w wording, um, in here, it'll say, and you'll have to use your b b bonus action again to detect creatures or, or around you if they m m move and aren't in range of your b b blind sight. So in 5th edition, there are two v v very b b important words that you find in the g g g game constantly. They are can and m m must can m m means you have a ch choice it gives you the uh, option of d d doing something must means you have to anytime you, you use this ab ab ability you have to d d d do this because he has used the f f phrase you'll have to he is b b basically in the d d talk made it that anytime somebody m m moves uh in combat, while you're using this ability, you have to use your bonus action in order to um, know, 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 know where they are. Even if you don't want to, your bonus action is required since you have already made this perception check once. Until you are no longer blind or people aren't moving, uh, you have to use your b -b -b bonus action. Now, is that the way he, he meant it? Absolutely no, 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 not. Uh, the phrasing sh should have been, um, you can use your, b -b you can use your b -b bonus action again uh, on s subsequent turns to detect creatures around you if they moved and aren't in range of your blind sight. So it's, it's just a w wording issue, but it's a b -b 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 big deal. Um, obviously, it's, it's not hard to figure out what was m meant by this, but rules lawyers, m m m min maxers, they are always going to f focus on the words that you use and the actual rules. And in that case, I would have to rule 
that no, as long as you're b -b 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 blind, you no longer have a b -b -b bonus action. C congratulations. Um, so I was level 15, a lot on the little level of 15. At level 18, the, you know, ultimate ability of this is a subclass. You become a tr true ab -ab abyss walker to take up the m mantle of the order and become an unstoppable f f force of death on the b -b -b battlefield. Yeah, d -d despite the fact that you only get one ab -ab -ab ability, quote unquote, you get to, to tons of ab -ab -ab abilities uh, at 18th level. At the beginning of combat, you can use a b -b bonus action to take up this stance that you learned from your masters and those who came b -b before you in order to make your enemies fear you and control the b battlefield. Once you take up this stance, you can force up to five enemies in 60 feet that can see you make a charisma saving throw with a DC equal to eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your strength modifier or become frightened until combat ends, they, they die, or you die, or are incapacitated. Whoa. So, first things first. It says, at the b -b -b beginning of combat. That doesn't actually d -d -d define what that is. B -b beginning of combat could be, oh, combat starting, then I use my b -b 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 bonus action b -b before I roll uh, uh, initiative. Um it's an undefined term. Generally, what you sh should be using there is on the first round of combaters is something like that. Um, he uses Giga Can, which is na -na -na nice. Um, but again, there's no reason to na -na not do this. And you can fear five enemies within 60 feet, which is a little a lot. And if they fail, <clears throat> they're d -d 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 done. There's no save to, 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 to get out of it. There's no way to resist it. They're just afraid for the rest of Giga Combat, which d -d doesn't ha happen in 5th edition D&D. D &D. It just doesn't. There's always a save or something you can do to, d -d -d to get out of it. Um, with the only uh, exception being, I think, like the Vampire's ch ch Charm ability uh, requires them to hurt you. Uh, in order for you to be able to, to save out of it. Um, but, but, but um, yeah, uh, other than that, like, that is a m m massively overpowered b b b ability, and there's n n no limit to how often you can y y use it. Other than it has to be d -d done at the b b beginning of combat, you can do that every single combat. And you should. Again, as much as you get the ch choice to do it with can, this is that ex example of, there's no reason and not to use it. This isn't a ch choice, despite the fact that you've been given the option of it being a choice. This is, isn't a ch ch choice. Uh, it is simply something you you have to do if you want to play the character c c c correctly. Now, that's not not, not all. You can also use your b -b bonus action throughout this same bout of. C c combat which is poorly uh uh worded generally it's the same in counter or the same combat encounters is something like that, that that but sure same bout of combat to take up the same stance and choose to either raise your movement speed by 15 feet until the beginning of your next turn or you can sustain this stance and impose a disadvantage on all melee and ranged attacks against you until you move or to take a, a, an action. So with the m amount of ways this class gets to impose the disadvantage on attacks against them, um, this isn't as b b b big a deal as it sh should be, since they already have s so many other ways to b b b impose the d d d disadvantage and make themselves a a hard to hit. However, again, the wording of this is b b b b poor. Um, you can use the stance to uh, uh, give you more m m movement speed. That's not a, 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 a bad, bad ability. That's not an overpowered ability on its own um, and actually can be k kind of interesting. You see this in other g g classes where you can choose like m m m mobility or uh, maybe uh, uh, more power, or more, more defense. That's an interesting ch 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 choice. This one, not so much, uh, because 
You can impose disadvantage on all melee and ranged attacks that get against you until you move or to, to, to take an action. So what you can do, do, do is move, uh, fight, do, 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 do everything you're supposed to, which at uh, 18 levels is uh, 18th level is you get three attacks as a f fighter, and you have all that other c crazy shit the Abyss Walker can do. Um, so you do, do do all that, and then at the end of your turn, you just say, bonus action, I take my s stance. And then you're not going t t to uh, m move or to take an action um, until you're done the next turn. The only thing you m m might do is take a reaction, which is not an, a, not an a a action. And therefore, literally every t t turn, everything has d d d d disadvantage against you. Um, <clears throat> there are b b abilities that kind of do, do, do that. Blur is a really good, 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 great example. I use it on my b -b -b Blades Singer. Um, and it's really cool. It's really useful. Um, but if you get hit once for the rest of the... Uh, uh, until your uh, uh, next t -t turn, Blur is off. This is just b -b -b -per -per permanent. Um, again, the visibility can do this. is the same thing, though... Um, a lot of uh, higher end monsters will have the ability to see invisibility or have tremor sense or blah, blah, blind sense. So invisibility. This is literally, you're, you're, you're done. You all, always have this. Um, so quite literally with this character, a, 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 a by level 18, a uh, normal thing you're going to do is start of combat, you fear five c -c 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 creatures. Um, the, 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 then... Uh, your f first round, you're going to use your uh, 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 b b bonus action to turn in v v v visible. That gives you an advantage on all your t t t t attacks, b b b b basically. Uh, then uh, every other b b b bonus action is going to be used for this uh, d d d d d defense thing. If there are people that can s see in v v v visibility. Uh, if not, use your bonus action for s second t t t t attacks or a b b billion other things. This class is so over p -p 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 powered. Um, again, the, 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 this is a p -p -p power fantasy. Uh, uh, this is b -b -b basically, uh, uh, if, if, if I had to guess, this is someone that has uh, d dabbled in min maxing, but min maxing is hard. Um, and generally, you uh, to, to, to really get all, all, all uh, you want out of a m -m -m min max character. You need to be um, at least upper t tier two, like eight or level nine minimum. Generally, you you won't feel super overpowered until you get into t t tier three content at level eleven to sixteen. Um, and some uh, multi class min max builds don't really see uh, all their advantages until you hit t t tier four at seventeen. So the, this is a way to m m m min max without having to do all that you know uh confusing stuff of multi-classing and m m making sure you choose the right good 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 classes i mean by seventh level you are already really p -p -p powerful and you've never had to d d d d d multi-class um and with the fighter you're getting uh, extra feats and th th things like that so this is a massively p -p powerful character that probably and the only thing um you need for this character is strength um wisdom isn't in a nice for some of the uh, out of combat stuff um and the intelligence isn't nice but literally just having a, a, a plus one or a, a, a plus two which you can get when you originally roll a, 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 a character is all you really need so your uh, first two ability score and improvements um, go to your sh strength uh, to get you to a t 20. And then you just start b b picking feats to give you even more b b b b b power. Take the ch ch charger f f f feat. Uh, take, again, if you're uh, uh, using t t two weapons, take the d d d dual wielder f f f feat. Um, like you l literally can just m make this b b beast of a k k character by level s s s 7. You are going to be near unstoppable. And then everything th after that is just extra you know stuff on there um so uh again the, the, the damascus steel if you if you ever watch this or sincerely doubt you will um i get what you are trying to do here 
you really need to to to, to look at the balance uh, a little bit more. Um, if you're t taking uh, abilities from other classes and sh shoving them into y y your um, uh, your s subclass at a lower level, it's going to be uh, overpowered because now uh, the p person that did use that s subclass um, is now going to feel kind of jipped because they had to wait until a higher level and you got their exact ability at a lower level without having uh, to stick to the, the, their ch chosen subclass. Um, generally, uh, on a level up, you really should only get one or t two things m m maximum. There isn't a single level in here where you only get one or t t two things. Generally, you get three or four, uh, sometimes five, six, or seven in a single level. And if you are getting m m m multiple things on a single level up, they should complement each other. Like for the m m m monk, they get pr proficiency in all saving throws. That's an, an, a nice level up. In addition, they can burn a key point, which is a d d defining feature of the g class. So not only does is this a good feature, but it feeds into what makes uh, that class uh, 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 that class the defining features of the the the, the, the class. Um, uh, not only do they get that, but they also get key to reinforce their core class ability. The fighter is based around three b b b basic things. They get extra t t attacks, they get extra f f f feats, and they have uh, uh, action s surge. Those are the defining features of the fighter c class. Nothing I in here improves any of those things relates at, uh, at all t t to any of those th th the things so while yeah it's it's a, it's an interesting class from a lore p p perspective at the t t table this class will wipe the floor with a a everybody even the quote unquote tr traditionally overpowered c c classes um like uh, uh high level wizards d d d d d um, moon druids they would get k k killed by this k k k class without too much d d d d difficulty. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, the, the Damascus Steel, if you, you do watch this, um, this uh, uh, specific class hasn't been uh, updated since March of, uh, uh, of d d d 2019. Um, I would say if, if, if you wanted to make this a more b b b balanced class, first of all, to take out any ability that you find in another c c class. Um, that doesn't mean you can never d d d do that. However, with everything you have here, you don't n need it. Um, there's so many other things you can do to do that you don't need to, to take from other classes to make the class feel b b powerful. So that'd be the first thing I do. Get rid of anything that you find in another class. Um, and then look at all the abilities uh, th that you add and limit them to, to down to one or t t two things that really highlight this subclass and help it work with the f f fighter and its d d d defining ab 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 abilities. Um, fighting style is, 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 is good. Um, it, I, I don't understand why an Abyss Walker knows more f fighting styles than uh, a regular f f fighter, though. Uh, so, f for example, if you want to give them a, an a, a, a additional f f fighting style, link it into the subclass itself. To talk about why uh, a, a, a Abyss Walker get to ch choose an additional f f fighting style. Is it because the, the demons have such uh, s s strange the, 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 the things that, that they... Uh, uh, they need to be able to, you know, use both a great weapon and uh, uh, the, the, the dual wields and be able to s switch for, for freely. Stuff like that, just a little bit of lore to link it either t to the Abyss Walker or t to the f fighter class it's, it's itself. Um, everything else is, is linked really well to the ab ab Abyss Walker. None of it relates to the fighter. This could be its uh, own s s separate c c c c class, which I'm, I'm thinking might be what you did, and uh, the D&D D Beyond does, doesn't let you add good, good, good classes. They only let you add z z subclasses. So if, if I had to, to, to take a guess, this is probably a full new, new, new c c class that was c c c condensed into a, c c a subclass, which doesn't work, because then you're basically getting t 
the abilities of to do two classes at once, which just um, messes with this stuff. Um, anyway, good, good, good guys. Uh, yeah, that, that that's how I would do, do, do this. Again, I seem kind of good, 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 good critical over this. I guess I am. Uh, and it's m m mostly because I've seen people t t take characters like this and go 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 to tables and just ruin c campaigns and ruin the f fun of everyone because they're just like, well, I'm s super powerful and you guys are playing by the rules and 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 aren't. It's one of the m main things that I focused on when I b b built my d d d d Dragon Knight class was I specifically m m made it so that. It wouldn't out the, the, the damage, the, the, the damaging class. It, it wouldn't feel overpowered, just y unique. Uh, and th this class has y uniqueness, but it's also just massively p p p powerful and will d d dwarf a anything else uh, at the, t the, the table. Um, anyway, th that's all f for me for this one. And I will see you guys in the next time as I tr try to g g g catch up again. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye.